got a relatively quick one for you today, and that's all right because we have our live stream later. Whoa! So I know we haven't talked about it that much. I think I made one video on it about the lawsuit between Gina Carano versus Disney. Well, Gina Carano plus Elon Musk versus Disney and how that's going to trial. I haven't talked about it that much because I've heard about it from people way more knowledgeable than me. And uh, somebody on the inside who we had as a guest knows a lot more about it, too. But we've got some new news as opposed to old news, just like old babies. So it's seeming they're putting Gina Carano's character, Cara Dune, back into Star Wars lore. Mm -hmm. A new Lucasfilm publication is including Cara Dune. To the shock of many, she appears in the new Star Wars encyclopedia published by DK and released this month. So it is already released. It's already out there. Um. Okay, many things going through my mind. So let's just go through the article a little bit first. And then, you know, the drill, I will just pontificate on things and probably stick my foot in my mouth because that's where it belongs. However, there is absolutely no mention of any characters associated with the failed series like the Acolyte, the brainchild of Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant. Leslie Headlamp. Lesbian Headlamp. Carano's character gets a large photo and a full write-up detailing her history, mil military service, and her adventures with the Mandalorian and the little green crap stain. Dune was prominently featured in the first two seasons of The Mandalorian, was set to receive her own spinoff series called Ranger of the New Republic. But what happened? Oh my, oh no, oh no, what happened? How terrible. They kind of forced her to put pronouns in her bio. She had to appear like she sided with them. So what did she say? It's like, I don't care about this kind of stuff. You really want this in here? Okay, bop, beep, boop. Fine, those are my pronouns. Who cares? Why does anybody care? And that with another little tweet that just solidified that she thinks for herself got her fired. Now, everyone's a little bit shocked. Okay, everyone is not shocked. I am kind of a little bit shocked, and I'm on Gina's side. Gina for the win. But, okay, so the company failed to renew. Failed to renew. I love that verbiage. Yeah, they freaking fired her ass back in 21 after she, sired, after she shared a political meme on X that criticized the way today's society treats conservatives. How dare she treat other Americans like Americans? How dare she stand up for free speech? How could she? What upstanding citizen would ever fight for the right to other people to say what they want, even if they disagree with that person's take? Almost like it's in the freaking Constitution. Lucasfilm maligned her on social media, leaving Carano effectively canceled by the huge Hollywood studio. Or so they thought, yeah, she's made a giant research. Just look at her lines in any Comic-Con. They are three to four times the size of anybody else's. And she takes the time to talk to every single one and gives hugs. I haven't received a hug because I haven't met her yet. But one of these days, I'll get one of those famous Gina Carano hugs. So soon after, she filed for an unlawful termination of discrimination lawsuit against Disney. And it even got the notice of Elon Musk, who is completely funding the entire litigation. And they are pushing hard. And like we said earlier, it's going to trial. Um, Disney will be held accountable. They have tried to settle out of court. They have tried to file injunctions and none of it has worked because the proof's in the pudding. Everyone's got the, their, their pink slips. That's not the right word, but like everyone's got the evidence. They've got the receipts and this is all going into discovery. However, so the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because as we near closer to the first day of the trial, you see Disney kind of like they're trying to backtrack on stuff. They're trying to like extend, I wouldn't say olive branches, but maybe like olive twigs. 
they're trying to make it look like, oh, okay, enough time has passed. We'll bring you back like they do to so many actors. But no, there absolutely can't be any fixing of what you've done. You stepped in it. You stepped in it, Disney. Now you got to pay the piper. Wish you were paying the Roddy Pi the Roddy Piper. Because <laughs> he's all out of gum. What do you guys think about this? Is this just Disney trying to make themselves look as friendly as possible? The thing is, like, once they go to trial, which Gina's not going to back down. And Elon isn't backing down, too. That dude's getting more power. They are not going to back down from this. They're just like trying to offer up little scraps right here in the end game on the final stretch before it goes to trial. It's not going to do anything. And it's actually, it's a pretty weak look. And it's good to see Disney weak, at least in my opinion. So what is next on the horizon? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that this does anything to put Disney back in the good graces of anybody's minds. Well, Rachel Zegler is still employed. Now they're trying to give little trinkets and snippets like an abused housewife to Gina Carano. They don't know what they're doing. They're completely in a shit swirl. Circle on the drain. And they're just throwing up any last little thing that they have to try to save the public image. But public image was ruined a long time ago and this is what these people need to this is what these people need to realize in my own opinion what is yours leave it down in the comments below we will see you later on this evening with horror amarada starts at 8 30 eastern